Hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you're still with us. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stand up and do some work on it now, and from time to time I'll have to stand up and sit down and do it. But anyhow, we need to do the red on these panels here, so I picked another brush, and I may have told you to start with that I, uh, years ago, was in the sign business. This brush is probably like 50 years old, but I knew how to take care of them. It's still just the same, as, as good as it was new. I looked this brush up online, and I believe the cheapest you can get this brush now is about $40. So can you imagine what a sign painter has to go through now? Anyhow, I'm going to dip it into a little of this thing. Now, what I probably will need to do in sign paint I usually try to work my brush in, if you notice what I'm doing here. Now if we have time, I want to show you, I don't know that we have time this session or not, but I want to show you something about sign painting too. I may show you how to lay them out, how to letter them, how to shadow them, what brushes to use. Anyhow. You work it into the brush real good, and then you're usually ready to go. Okay, let's see if we are. Now I'm going to pull this freehand. And you can see I went over halfway with that brush full. Normally a brush will not let you go that far. I'm going to get me a little more color out here. Now the reason I've got uh, boiled linseed oil in the thinner, it makes the paint flow better. In other words, it, it's not quite as tacky. You can pull with it better. Okay, that's a bad spot there that we'll have to get. And now here's another one. But I'm going to lay that little brush down. Now as I come down to the bottom, I turn the brush. And what that does, that gives me a little angle right there, like a 45 degree angle. So then all i got to do is lay that brush down flat right in that tip of that and pull it. And that's a bad spot. One reason I stopped right there. We'll come back and get it later. Almost got through there, didn't I? Now I've got a bad spot right there. I may have to get a little more color out here. Normally I can just check the tip of the brush. Like that. You get that. I've got the same problem right here. You got most of it. Anyhow, as you can see, I got a little spot right here if I can get it.
Pretty good. Okay. Beautiful. Now I'm trying to mix that real good. Now, I've got one up here. Let's, uh, in a way that light's hitting it, I can't see it. This is, is be easy because I can go right off the top with it. I'm trying to hold it up so I can see my line. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, that will be easy. I'll just pull it off the top. Let's see if we can get this little area. All right. That's the easy one, isn't it? I'm going to pull it all the way off the top. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, let's get a little more color here. Now, you could take that big brush and pull this with one stroke across there. But I chose to do it in two strokes to make it a little easier on me. Same way with this one. Now this one actually is cut out in different spots here that don't always line up with what we're trying to do. So I'm going to try to do it right along here and leave that other area. So I like that. Wow, got it. You know, I, I can't believe what these brushes cost nowadays. Probably when I bought this brush, it probably wasn't, probably wasn't five dollars. It probably was more like two or three dollars. But as you can see, it's just as good as it was the day I bought it.
And thanks to an old sign painter friend of mine that told me how to take care of my brushes. Missed the spot, didn't I? I think I got it. This will probably dry pretty good overnight. Uh, hopefully. Now we've got to paint the whole body of the ship and the water. I'm going to clean this brush out. And I think I got all of that. And I, I'm going to clean that out a little bit. And if you give me just a minute, I think we're about ready to close it out, aren't we, Jim? How many minutes we got left? Jim always keeps up with me, and, and, I, and I appreciate that so much. Uh, now, as I told you earlier, I've got a lot of different brushes, as you can see here, and, and this is just part of them. Most of all of these brushes are used for fine art or oil paintings. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of those brushes on this, and I'll show you why a little bit later. But this is all sign work here, sign painting. This is the same thing that uh, you would do if you let her on the side of the truck or painting somebody's name on it, you know. And like I say, there's a lot of repetition here. All of this, people get bored doing that. I never get bored doing it because that's, that's my life. I'm an, I'm an artist, first of all, and, and I just enjoy every aspect of it. And the sign painting business was something that I got into because I could make more money doing that and I could actually paint in portraits. And as I may have told you early on, the first job I got was at uh, L.M. Berry in telephone directory because I could draw. But at night, I was doing portraits. I was doing pastel portraits. I made more doing portraits than I did working. Matter of fact, one portrait used to pay me more than I made a week at L.M. Berry. But I thought if I could ever get to $80 a week, I'd be rich. Now my grandson makes... $32 an hour, and wow, I can't believe it. I don't know if I'll ever go back into the sign business, but anyhow, I hope you come back next week, and we'll try to do a little more work on our picture. Goodbye, and God bless.